Hello, I am Dr. Anupanandi, consultant gynecologist and fertility specialist working in London. Today we will be talking about AMH. AMH or anti-Mullerian hormone is a frequently performed fertility investigation. It can cause significant stress if you are told that you have got low AMH. But what is AMH? What does it mean? Let's find out. AMH or anti-Mullerian hormone is a hormone produced by your ovary which gives us a clue about your ovarian reserve and it is a simple blood test that can be done anytime during your menstrual cycle. As you can see in this picture, this is an ultrasound scan of the ovary and the black spots are called antral follicles. They are the egg bags, each of them have got one egg. We can't see egg on the scan because they are microscopic. These antral follicles, they produce the hormone called AMH. During ultrasound scan, we can count how many follicles are there, which will give us an antral follicle count. And these antral follicles, they produce AMH, which we can measure from a blood test. Both antral follicle count and AMH together gives a clue about your ovarian reserve. There are other blood tests as well, but these two are most frequently performed. Every woman is born with a set number of eggs and as she grows older, she gradually loses the egg and when all the eggs are depleted, she enters into menopause. At any point in time, the number of eggs left in the ovary is called ovarian reserve. It can be measured by the AMH level and also by counting the number of antral follicles during the transvaginal scan. The ovarian reserve is different for different women and that is because the rate of decline of the egg number is different for different women. And the rate at which a woman will lose her eggs will depend on her hereditary factors, genetic conditions, for example, fragile egg syndrome, or lifestyle factors like smoking, which accelerates the rate of egg decline or medical conditions like surgery to the ovary or treatment of cancer like chemotherapy, radiotherapy. As you can see in this chart, the AMH will differ in different age groups and it will, it will gradually go down as the woman grows older. Majority of the women will be along the middle line, that is the 50th centile. Those who have low ovarian reserve will be along the 10th or 5th centile and those who have high ovarian reserve will be along the 90th or 95th centile. For example, if you are 34 years of age, then your AMH will be, your normal AMH will be at 50th centile, which is at around 19 picomole per liter. But remember, AMH is measured in, with, using different arrays in different laboratories in different countries. So the one that we have, we are showing here is picomole per liter, but it can also be expressed as nanogram per milliliter. The values will be different. Low AMH means low ovarian reserve compared to another woman with a higher AMH. However, low AMH in itself is not a cause of infertility. If you have regular menstrual cycle, it's very likely that you are producing an egg every month, which can make you pregnant, provided you do not have any other factor for infertility like block tubes or problems in sperm parameters in your partner. However, if you are over 35 years of age, then there will be egg-related decline in the quality of the eggs. So women over 35 years of age should seek medical advice if they do not fall pregnant naturally within six months of trying. AMH is mainly important to plan IVF treatment because it helps us to anticipate the response of the ovaries to stimulation and thereby decide the best way to stimulate the ovaries to get the best outcome of IVF. Low AMH means 
If you undergo IVF, there is risk of getting less number of eggs, which can lower your chances of success from IVF treatment. Very low MH could indicate towards earlier menopause. However, it will be impossible to determine the exact time of menopause from the level of AMH alone, because Menopause timing is determined by various other factors like ethnicity, genetic makeup, hereditary factors, lifestyle factors, medical conditions, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, and so on. But because low AMH could indicate towards early menopause, the window of opportunity to complete the family may be shorter, so it would be advisable to complete your family sooner rather than later. To summarize, AMH is a blood test done to measure your ovarian reserve. It is mainly for IVF. AMH in itself is not a cause of infertility. Even if you have low AMH, you can still have a natural conception if you have regular menstrual cycle and no other obvious factors of infertility like block tubes or abnormal sperm parameters. Very low AMH could indicate early menopause. Women with very low AMH should complete their family sooner rather than later. Thank you for listening. I hope it was useful. If you have any particular topic that you would like to know more about, please put them in the comment box and I will make another video on it. Thank you.